And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Today we're taking a look at Dice Capades. Having fun there? When I first saw Dice Capades, the very first time in a store, I was just astounded because inside this game were a hundred dice. Now, granted, they kind of cheat on that a little bit because I think a good 50 of the dice are tiny. these tiny, minuscule dice. But hey, they're still dice. It's got letter dice. It has a die inside a die. It has a colored die. It has eight-sided, six-sided, ten-sided. It has dice with pictures on it. It has 12-sided dice, 20-sided dice. There's all sorts of dice in this game. Now, does that automatically make a game good? Well, no, but it comes awfully close. So here's the board for Dice Capades. Each person's going to put their piece here, and your goal is to get to the end spot. So you follow this winding path that will lead you like this. And there's three different areas of the board. Here is Action Land, here is Triviaville, and here is Thinking Town. You also have two whole sections here. These are full of the different dice that I mentioned. You can see here you have your 8, 10, 12, and 20 sided dice. You have picture dice. And then in your other container, you have a color dice, uh, your funky die, letter dice, mini dice, small six-sided dice, and bigger six-sided dice. And so what you do is, on your turn, you will draw a card from the section of the area that you're in. Unless you're on one of these pick spots, then you can pick any of the three cards. So let's say you draw an action land card. Here, it says, starting with you and Going clockwise, players will take turns rolling all five black number dice. First player to roll two pairs advances three spaces. So you have the first chance. Or you roll the six color side die and you draw the matching word below on a piece of paper. And there's a pencil and a pad of paper included for the game. If a player is able to guess the word you are drawing within 30 seconds, then you can advance two spaces. Correct guesser also goes forward one space. So you can see action land is all different things. Everyone takes one brown spot die, taking turns. You will all flick the die, sliding it across the table toward the opposite end. Whoever gets the closest without falling off is the winner. Speaking of which, that is by far that is by far the most entertaining uh, card in the game, in my opinion. Here you can stack the mini ivory dice on top of the letter dice. So you have to take this die. Here's a letter die. Oh, a letter die. I'm sorry. You take a letter die and then a mini die. And then you have to balance this card on top of that die for 30 seconds. And if you can do that, then you get to move forward a certain amount of spaces, which it says on the card. And so there's all different sorts of things on here, uh, guessing the, in, the, the milk ex expiration date, or stand on one leg holding your arm out, or arm wrestling somebody. These are all the action type cards. Now what about the cards that are here in the Thinking Town area? These kind of cards are different. Here you roll the green number dice and roll the yellow number dice within 30 seconds, subtract all the greens from all the yellows. Okay? Here. Roll all six picture dice and arrange them all alphabetically within 30 seconds. Here, roll the funky die and add the two numbers. Write that many four-letter words within 30 seconds. So these are ones that will often make you think, although they're not always about thinking, but a lot of times, roll the funky die, add two numbers together, name a U.S. state with that many letters within 30 seconds. Okay, so those are the Thinking Town. Triviaville, here you have a six-colored die that you will roll, and if you roll... Uh, black, then you can pick whatever category you want. And then each category has a specific question that goes with that category. And if you can answer, the, the person next to you reads a tune. If you answer correctly, you have to go forward the amount of spaces it shows at the bottom. And so that essentially is the game. You're going to be drawing a card from your stack, following the instructions, and then moving. And the first person to get to end then has the person next to them is going to pick whichever card they want you to solve. You will have to do that card, whether it be action, trivia, or thinking. And, the f for, and if you do it, you win the game. All right, let's take a look here at Dice Capades. Dice Capades is really three different games. 
and that all has to do with these cards that you draw. The trivia ones is basically just a trivia game. So that's okay. I mean, but the thing about the trivia is I almost kind of wish that wasn't in the game at all in a sense because trivia is just trivia. There's a million games out there about trivia. So why throw it in a game like this? I guess as a subcategory, but it's one third of this game. Almost nobody picked trivia when it came to the different spaces where you could pick what you wanted, but be that as it may. Actionville is the part of the game that kids will love, okay? Because that has the things where you're doing all sorts of crazy things, stacking dice. And then over here, the Thinking Town, Sometimes they were interesting and sometimes they were not. A lot of times you, you had to describe pictures or draw pictures or um, roll the funky die, which is the die inside the die. Uh, sometimes they were just, you have to roll numbers and whoever rolled number first wins. That's not really thinking ten. that's just happening ten. Uh, but as it is, the game's very mediocre for me. I, I like the dice. I like some of the action things. But let's see what Melody thinks. What do you think? Um, I like the rolling of the dice part. Um, trying to get the number first. Um, that was kind of, I don't know. Like, not fun, but not bad at the same time. What about stacking dice? Did you like that? Um, yeah, but the, there was this one time where everyone did it. But the person who played the card got the easiest, and I thought that wasn't really fair. Well, it was his turn, I guess. So? <laughs> <laughs> All right. There is a lot of dice in the game, and there's a lot of different things. And I think I think at its heart, and, and this is where the game's a little odd, I think at its heart this is more of a kid's game than anything else. Maybe teenager game. But the trivia bill doesn't really reflect that. For example, the New York City Blues Club GBGB is an acronym for what? Well, most kids aren't going to know that, or most kids aren't going to know, you know, um, the in. well, maybe they would know that, or what food was classified as a vegetable in school lunches by the Reagan administration. Well, what have you. It just, it doesn't feel like that matches. While adults might like the trivia, then they're like, what, I have to roll a die and do that many push-ups? Really? <laughs> so, but I, and then some of you are going to love throwing everything in together. So... Some of the game ideas are good, some are not, and it comes together in a eh, okay game. But yeah. you said you liked it? It was okay. It was okay. Well, there you go. Dice Capades, it's okay. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top rated audio podcast at dicetower.com. You can also find the latest board game news at dicetowernews.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Fun Again Games, the world's best game source. Fun Again Games has over 5,000 games available. Check them out at funagain.com. Shut the door! That's right. Shut it. Yeah. Yeah.